Introducing 615 Missouri Avenue, San Francisco. One-of-a-kind remodel with impeccable finishes and spectacular views in Potrero Hill. Open floor plan with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, office, and possible fourth bedroom or nursery. Top floor flows beautifully with two bedrooms, one bathroom, and hallway leading to custom chef-inspired kitchen, dining room, and living room with stunning views of the bay. LED lights above crown molding and exterior with different color combinations will dazzle you. Lower level features luxurious master suite with bay views, space for an office, and nursery or fourth bedroom. Landscaped yard completes this home with rock waterfall, LED lighting, granite bar, storage, and plenty of space for entertaining. Folks, we've got registered bidders when it comes to uh, online. We've also got registered bidders being displayed on the phone here today as well, folks. Good interest, strong interest on in this property. There is no question that ultimately, if we don't reach a desired result today, the sold sign will grace this sign of this property very, very shortly, considering that it is quality real estate in San Francisco. Let's see what we can get for the property. Ladies and gentlemen, opening bidder, opening offer to start is what we're looking for. Bidding to start is $1,995,000. I would suggest to start over and above that, obviously into the $2 million to kick us away. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we say for an opening bidder, opening offer to start, your chance to kick it away? Two million. Two million and away we go. Paddle number one, online bid. Heidi is representing the online bidders today, guys. I will make reference to that. $2 million at the back of the room there. Ladies and gentlemen, online as an opening bidder, opening offer to start, I would suggest something in the vicinity of 2.1 to kick us away and continue forward. We can do 2 million and 50 though, Heidi, if you want to make sure that increment is online for people as well. But either way, at $2 million, a bit offered called now. Ladies and gentlemen, I would have thought that a strong play would have been 2.1, but away we go. I'll call it through three times and three times only. Gentlemen, their chance to get involved. Also, other online interest at any point in time, I'll call it through three times. When I call the property through three times, if we don't have an increase in offer, 2-1 uh, and away we go, ladies and gentlemen. Paddle number 31. The more they thought about it, the more it made sense. Certainly at that price, we'll have to call 911 because they'll be burgling it at 2.1. Indeed, we'll go straight to 2.2. I would have thought from here at 2.1, the bid offer call, ladies and gentlemen. Straight to 2.2 if you'd like to play at 2.1 million dollars, the offer the call. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll call it through three times again. If I get to the end of the third and final call, uh, 2150, at $2,150,000 the bid offered call, ladies and gentlemen, online bid there at $2,150,000 a bid now, straight to 2-2, I would have thought would have been a strategic play at this point, wouldn't have any hesitations at this time, I'll call it through three times. First time at $2,150,000 the bid offered call now, if they're timing their run, now's the time to get involved, they're coming down the back straight and they're in second place and they're going to miss out. I'll call it through though, $2,150,000 for the second time, ladies and gentlemen, as you hesitate, I don't understand why at this price point, sir... 2.2, it's there with paddle number 10. New interest at $2.2 million a bid. As a phone bidder represented by Jonathan Bassett, paddle number 10, it's there. At $2.2 million, the offer, ladies and gentlemen, it's here now. At $2.2 million a bid now, straight to two and a quarter, I would have say, with another $50,000 increment. Jason, we haven't heard from your buyer in a little while. They came in strong with a $2.1 million offer. I would have thought that they could increment to 50s indeed. At $2,200,000 a bid offered, called, ladies and gentlemen, I call it through three times, three times only again to prompt you in the bidding. Yes. 2250 it's there at two and a two and two and a quarter, ladies and gentlemen, some would say. At two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a bid offered called it's here now straight to two three. I would have thought we'd get two at two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a bid. At two million two hundred and fifty, I thought, two million two hundred and fifty, two million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's here. 2.3 and back in front with no hesitation at all because it's great value, ladies and gentlemen. At $2.3 million, the bid offered called now. 2.3 sounds good, but 2.35 would sound better indeed. John, they can't buy it with one bid indeed. They need to obviously make sure that they're participating in the auction. They're behind at this point, but a bid at 2.3 is the highest offer at this time. First time at $2,300,000, the offer now, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. Here is the transparent, clear arena that you all are looking for. There's no smoke and mirrors here in the sense of we don't know what prices others are paying. Here is the transparent arena that can give you confidence, ladies and gentlemen, that not only do you see value at that level, level others do as well. $2.3 million the offer, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. I'll call three times. First time at $2.3 million a bid. Second time at $2.3 million a bid. Shouldn't be any hesitation here, ladies and gentlemen. And if I need to increase that offer, I will. Third and final chance in the bidding, ladies and gentlemen. 2.35, it's here. At $2,350,000, a bit offered called, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. At $2,350,000, here with John. At $2,350,000, the bid now, representing paddle number 10 on the uh, phone interest there at $2,350,000, straight to 2.4. I would have thought, Jason, Heidi, any more online interest at this point? A shake of the head is definitely not what we want to see at this point in time. We need north, south, not east, west when it comes to buying good real estate. I've never seen a shake of the head buy real estate before. First time we call it out, ladies and gentlemen, are we done now at $2.35 million? 
the call. Second time at $2,350,000, a bit offered called now. What are we doing in or out? Need to know. Third and final chance do we miss out, ladies and gentlemen, at $2,350,000 done, finished and silent. Where do we stand? Third and final chance. Four, four, it's there. At two million, two million four hundred thousand dollars a bid. Timing the run, perhaps they waited right to the pointy end of proceedings. No problems at all. At two million four hundred thousand dollars a bid, just adds to the drama of it, folks. At two point four million dollars, the bid offered called, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. At two four, the bid offered called. Surely two point five beckons. John, another fifty thousand increment. They're just going to go another fifty. Why don't they hedge them off and get straight to two point five million dollars? I won't stop them from spending more money. At two point four million dollars, the offer called, ladies and gentlemen, it's great buying at this level. I would have thought first time. At $2.4 million, the bid offered called now. Properties around that area have sold in excess of $4 million, ladies and gentlemen, because of the location. A wonderful walk score as well. 89 walk score, score on the location where you've got a view as well. Very rare. It's been something that's keep bringing buyers back. First, second, third and final chance at $2.4 million. The offer, the call, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. On my right-hand side, 2.45. Don't display their strategy that easy. Heidi, we will take $25,000 increments online if you want to adjust that at this point. Where do we go, folks? At 2.4, it's here. We can do 2.45 or we can take $25,000 increments at this point. John, where do we stand? First time. Second. Third. Final chance in the bidding, ladies and gentlemen. Are we done? Are we silent? Out. John, I can give them a little bit more time if they want to pause briefly. Ladies and gentlemen, at $2.4 million, I'm going to do something pretty simple and straightforward, folks. Based on the relative interest that we've had before auction, not to mention our feedback level, I'm going to place one of the two seller bids that I can execute. I'm going to place that at $2.5 million, just to edge us in the right direction. $2.5 million is one of the two seller bids I can place. Your chance to be involved in this bidding is to be above that at this point. At $2.5 million, the call, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to edge it forward at this point. Their opportunity to go $2.55, perhaps, or I can take a $25,000 increment, but it wouldn't be showing strength at this point. First time at $2.5 million a bid. Second time at $2.5 million the offer, ladies and gentlemen, by way of a seller's bid. You need to be over and above that if you want to continue to be interested in the property. Third... And final chance, ladies and gentlemen, are you done at $2.5 million offered, out? Jason? Five and a quarter. $2,525,000 here. At $2,525,000 the offer, paddle number 31 on my right-hand side, ladies and gentlemen, with telephone interest. At $2,525,000 a bid, offered called. At $2,525,000 the call. First time we call it out, Heidi, you can update the online bids to something in the $10,000 range if they want to get involved. Here is their chance to do so. Second time at $2,525,000 the offer, ladies and gentlemen, for the third. Final chance, folks, are we out and silent? I wouldn't have thought so at this level. Are we done? Out? Well, folks, I'm going to quickly pause there. I'm going to seek some instructions from the seller. I'm going to give our highest bidder a call. Folks, this is part of our process today that you'll see happen from time to time. We'll quickly pause. We'll have a conversation with the sellers, have a conversation with the buyers. We'll always bring the property back here live so that everyone can see the result and everyone has a fair and equal chance at the end. Stay tuned if you're online. I'll be back here very shortly, guys, with an update. Thank you. Folks, again, I just do, we're not about squashing deals together. We need to give people ample time in order to make decisions. Uh, so at the end of today, at the end of the day, we wanted to make sure that we gave the seller and the buyers enough time to make some decisions, and the time that we had given them wasn't enough time for our highest bidder at this point to make a final decision. They're going to continue to have a conversation in perspective of increasing their offer because it's not quite enough to put the deal together today. Um, but we're going to continue that negotiation uh, throughout the proceeding of the auction, and if anything does change. We will bring it back to the auction arena and we will make sure that that's publicly announced to anybody that is streaming in. And if the property does go to sell, we'll obviously contact all of the registered bidders that are there as well, that then they will be notified that they can bid further if they would like to. Again, making sure that this is as transparent and open as we possibly can. But either way, folks, at the moment, our highest bid is at $2 million. $525,000 with paddle number 31, folks. Um, that is our highest offer at this time. They're going to take some time to consider increasing their offer to uh, another amount where the seller would start to consider. Again, folks, great real estate in the Bay Area and a great job done by Anthony Navarro up there in San Francisco.